Watching the world burn, watching the world burn, September 27th, 2023. Let's get into it. So the first thing that I wanted to point out was First Republic was acquired by J.P. Morgan. And if you don't see in a consolidation of the banking industry, I tell you, it's uh, and the treasury bonds are way up. Uh, boy, I tell you, you know, I'm not the greatest YouTube channel in the world. I, you can watch uh, a lot of other channels, uh, but it sure does look like the banking industry is about to come crashing down. I hope you're getting prepared. Now, don't you know, like like the economic ninja, you know, he says sprinkle your money around in various bank accounts. I'm, but I'm getting ready to shut down one. I I had basically the account, and I uh, it consolidated with another bank, and I'm not real happy with that bank. So unfortunately, I'm actually bringing my finances together. So I, this is not financial advice. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. So, and then of course we know that the commercial backed securities is a major problem. I, that that whole uh, debt bubble just looks like it's going to burst. I can't imagine what that's going to do to the banks. So let's let's see what happens there. Credit card debt. Oh my God! It's, just tune into the other uh, channels. I mean, they got all of the graphs and everything. It's exploding. It's skyrocketing. Uh, if you've got credit card debt, you know you have to look at. I understand you you can get backed into a box and you just don't know what to do, but credit card debt is not the solution and certainly not payday loans. You certainly don't want to get that. So, I mean, what do you got to do? Well, if you got to go live in a trailer, go live in a trailer. I mean, I'm, I'm old, man. I, you know, and, and, and old people have limited options. Young people, you know, go out, buy it, buy an RV, man. Just get you a little piece of land somewhere and just, Hopefully you can get some electricity and a hook up and, uh, and 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 live like a hippie, you know. If that's what you got to do, I mean, but don't charge up your credit cards and don't get yourself into debt. Uh, we're going to see what happens with this student loan thing. I know the Democrats are trying to buy boats by uh, forgiving all the student loan debt. We'll see where that goes. I'll be surprised. A uh, car industry is in trouble. I mean, look at the uh, uh, the striking workers up. Well, Trump will be there tomorrow with the. Uh, but they don't understand. They don't understand what's going on. It's it's not, it's not. Well, it's inflation that's taken away their wages, okay? Because that's a hidden tax, and and what they don't understand is that it's also this this Democrat initiative for green energy, that's converting the the, the car industry companies are having to spend billions of dollars to convert over to uh, this this uh, lithium ion uh, you know electric cars. And it's, it's, it's bankrupting the whole industry. It's a by design. It's all by design. Just like the open border. The Democrats want an open border. We got an invasion going on at the southern border. Well, you know, you, I'm certainly, if you're tuned into the news at all, you know about that. By the way, this, this coming shutdown, it's just noise. Ignore that. Yeah, that's the stupidest thing ever. I mean, you know, the federal government's going to go on. They, all, the, all the federal work, all it is a vacation for some of them. And then they come back and they get paid. So, um... And by the way, I just want to say that the Ford or the auto workers, uh, the unions are committing suicide. You know, and, and what's funny was uh, Biden was there today and uh, they were all cheering him on. This is the guy that took down the Keystone Pipeline, the unions, and destroyed them the first day of his presidency. Do you think this guy's looking out for unions? Oh, my God, I can't believe that, you know. I, I, what do they just have a limited memory or they just don't remember? I mean, I, I can't imagine any union worker voting for a Democrat, but I'm sure they will. It's just like New York City. Uh, the, right now, uh, they're, they're protesting, uh, shutting down streets and everything about all the illegal immigrants out there. Well, guess what? They're all going to vote Democrat again. I <laughs> guarantee it. Oh, my God. Yeah, uh, well, and, and illegal aliens are taking over all the Western nations. Uh, I, and, and this is by design. I don't know why the, uh, the globalists want this. You know, maybe the globalists are out of China, out of Russia, or out of the, 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 the eastern part of the world, and they've taken over through bribes all of our Western leaders. Or uh, maybe they're lizard people. <laughs> you know, I, was, I always think of that invasion of the body snatchers. Remember that movie? Maybe our, our entire political structure in the West has been taken over by some sort of alien presence. 
uh, or uh, or nanotechnology. Maybe Elon Musk has put stuff in their brains, and uh, and they, they they're just doing the will of, of whoever controls them. Uh, I, I guess you had to see the actual Nazi that was unanimously applauded by the Canadian uh, uh, Parliament. That was huge. And then, of course, we got silver at a great price. It's down almost to $23 again. Uh, right now, SD Bullion's running a, a, a special on uh, Cougarans. That's what, I, that's what I bought. I try to buy just a little bit each month, uh, every now and then, store it in different places. And, uh, and, and so for, I think it was two fifty eight dollars over a spot, that's a good price. Uh, well, you can also buy the, the rounds, but I, I just think the coins, because they actually have monetary value as designated by government, when the shit hits, when stuff hits the fan, uh, that's, that's going to be. So let's, uh, let's get to the um, videos that I wanted to show you. So this is, um, yeah, this, this is, this is uh, Joe Biden on gun control. It's proof that despite the naysayers, we can make meaningful progress on dealing with gun violence. Because make no mistake, sit down and hear what I have to say. You think? You. Well, wasn't that interesting? <laughs> and then I, I'd like to follow up because this was a UFC uh, fighter on uh, the Maui fires, because uh, we seem to have all forgotten about that. It's amazing how your mainstream media is, is not telling you anything about what's going on in Hawaii or Maui. It's all gone to the wayside. Well, I'm not going to let it go to the wayside. And he also includes Satan in this thing, because you know what I'm seeing, and I hope you are too, this is not a fight of Democrat versus Republican or liberal versus uh, conservative. This is a fight of God versus Satan. And this is this. I just want you to watch this video. I, he says it all. It's Bible in here tonight because I do believe Satan has taken over this earth. And something specifically I'm talking about is these fires in Hawaii. I'll be no, donating $5,000 to Dan Ige tonight to give to people in Hawaii because I know he lost friends, they lost their homes, they lost their children. And I love these people you, with all my heart. And we have to show Satan that he can do nothing through the power of Christ when we come together. Let me ask you about your eye. Obviously, Dan connected with a couple of good shots there. Opened up a cut above and underneath it. How much did that impair your vision? Oh, that's a scratch, man. I ain't nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> hey, um... Also, to these, these fires in Hawaii, I don't believe that they were natural. I believe they were man-made. They're trying to take the land from the natives. And I want Dan Ige, a native Hawaiian, to lead this world in prayer against the power of Satan. Well, congratulations on a great fight. There you go. There you go. So that was, uh, that was him. And then I thought that the Colombian president, he had a good uh, comments on the, uh, the wars in the West. Uh, coming out of Colombia, so we can see we're losing a lot of the um, uh, the Central America or even the uh, uh, South America, the, the nations in those uh, Brazil, for example, uh, and, and of course Colombia. They're all going against uh, the United States and the West. Let's watch that video. Por petróleo invadieron a Irak, a Siria, a Libia. Se olvidaron que. Las mismas razones que se expresan para defender a Zelensky son las mismas razones con las que se debería defender a Palestina. Se olvidaron que para cumplir los objetivos de desarrollo sostenible había que cesar todas las guerras, pero ayudaron a aprender una porque al poder mundial le convenía en su juego de tronos, en los juegos del hambre. Y se olvidaron de, acaba, de acabar la otra, porque el poder no le convenía acabarla. ¿Cuál diferencia entre Ucrania y Palestina? Pregunto. No es hora de acabar ambas guerras y otras, y aprovechar el corto tiempo para construir los caminos para salvar la vida en el planeta. Well, there you go, there you go. And then uh, we got into, um, well, Justin Trudeau, to on support to defeat oh I, I don't know what this is but this is a justin trudeau video god knows my notes sometimes suck let's watch that 
hour, that's not a place I want to be for a prolonged period of time. Hopefully nobody's stuck in an elevator somewhere. At this point in time, I'm telling you, I am very reluctant about getting into an elevator. Call me paranoid, call me what you will. Let's hear what Justin has to say. Put that drama degree to work. Canadians know this is a question of right or wrong. Canadians know that yes, it is incredibly hard for Ukraine to continue to stand against a Russian aggression. And let's be honest, it's hard for the democracies around the world who are there to support their citizens, who are investing for the future, who are challenged with a challenging economy around the world to continue to step up as Canada has with close to $9 billion in aid for Ukraine. But we will because the cost on Canadians, on our lives, on our world will be so much greater if Putin wins this war that we will and have to stand every single day until Ukraine wins this war. <laughs> you know he practiced that one. And I got to say, he's going to make a great dictator, man. He really is. All right. So that was Justin Trudeau. And then, of course, we got to finish it off with some Russian hardware. This is a Russian KA-52 and an MI-28 Helos in action. out stay free you can run on for a long time run on for a long time run on for a long time sooner or later God's gonna cut you down sooner or later God's gonna cut you down go tell that globalist liar that Democrat idiot writer that rhino rambler, that nuclear war gambler, that backbiting U.S. politician, sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down.